Well, YouTube, as you can see, we are back. Um, I got the uh, box here slid back on this pickup, and we got the fuel pump put in. So we're actually going to just maybe do a little bit more discovering here. I put five gallons of gas in it, um, and we should have good fuel pressure now, but I'm also, I had some Mustang rims sitting around, so we're going to toss these on the pickup just so I can get it kind of quasi-mobile. And um, I don't want to spend too much money on this thing until until I know if it's going to run and work. And, uh, you know, once again, be worth spending the money to uh, to put back together, you know. Um, but, so, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and try and fire it up here in a little bit. And get these tires and rims thrown on and the box back in place. And go from there. Well, we are back. I got the uh, got Kayla's help getting the bed installed again, put back in place, and uh, we got the tires swapped. And on this uh, episode of the Wick Garage, I'm going to show you things that you should not do to your four-wheel drive Ranger. Mustang wheels, possibly the worst-looking wheels that I have ever seen on a Ranger. Not a fan, at least on this one. Um, but, with the budget in mind, of course, I didn't want to have to put new tires on until uh, so I could move it around, drive it, test it, until I knew that the pickup was uh, going to be worth continuing um, as a project. So, uh, well, I guess uh, it'll do the trick for now. So, uh, fuel pump's in, going to test it out, fire it up, see if it fires up, and we will go from there, I guess. So into the Ranger we go oh mm, that's not a good sign Just hoping for a little better results than that that is disappointing Okay, well, um, well then, it uh, fired up initially, I guess we will diagnose maybe a little bit further and see where we got to go from here. Well, we are back. Um, so it seems we have a common case of uh, Wayne didn't plug a connector in far enough. So, <clears throat> I have fuel pressure now, um, which I didn't, Shelby apparently wants in. Um, we're not going for a ride, girl, but you're welcome to be here with me. So, we are going to take two. And, as you can hear, it is running. Got a little hesitation there. Could be some, a plug fuel filter or, uh, you know, just old gas or whatever, what have you four-wheel drive and the low range light are on which I'm not sure what that means but we will get to the bottom of that at some juncture I am sure um, so yeah so from here uh, yeah, things are looking up so uh, we got the thing running obviously and so it would seem... Come on. Come on, Shelby. Come on. Come on, Shelby girl. It would on the surface appear as though the, uh, the hard part is over. But in fact, when you're dealing with a vehicle like this that's been sitting for a while for unknown reasons, uh, the hard part is just beginning. Uh, and I will explain a little bit more of that here in a moment. So one of the things that I've found out through my years of working on old vehicles and vehicles that have been sitting for a long time is that uh, oftentimes we have a tendency of getting incredibly excited you know when a vehicle when we first get it fired up and uh, unfortunately that's when all of the work starts so at that point in time you can realize that a vehicle is 
capable of running, capable of maybe moving. We haven't tested that yet. <clears throat> but it does, uh, it does give you a little bit of incentive. It makes you feel a little bit better when the vehicle runs. If you're fixing a vehicle to sell it or to drive it or to give to somebody, etc., etc., um, there's so many more things to consider. Obviously, you want the brakes to work good if it's four-wheel drive. You want that to work right. You want heat. Uh, maybe you live somewhere hot where you need AC. Um, you know, you need it to drive straight. You got to make sure that the wheels aren't going to fall off. And uh, and in in my opinion, that actually becomes that much more important when you're selling the vehicle. So from here, you know, the next step in this process, now that we know that the vehicle runs, the engine sounds good, is we have to verify that the engine is sound, um, that it is uh, going to be capable of running for a, for a reasonable amount of time. You know, obviously, you got a vehicle that's got what I assume to be uh, 110,000 miles on it. Who knows if that's 110, 210, etc. And, uh, you know, you would, you would hope that whoever buys this pickup could get, you know, maybe 40, 50,000 miles, four, five, six years out of the vehicle before it would, uh, would croak. And, and then in doing so, you can, you can kind of make a name for yourself in, uh, in selling a vehicle that you, that you see as a quality piece or that, that is a quality piece and is going to, going to cost very little. Um, I always have a tendency of abandoning a project as a sale vehicle uh, at the point that I realize that it's going to cost more money to put it on the road in a reliable fashion, you know, for a customer who's going to be happy with it, than uh, than I do. Yeah, well, long and short of it, I'm babbling. Um, you want to make sure that the vehicle is is uh, right and sound and solid and overall safe. Uh, so that's kind of where the work begins at this point in time. Uh, like you've seen, and like I've said, the vehicle runs, and that's a good good sign. So now we have to test all of the auxiliary functions. Um, we need to make sure that the heat works, that the four-wheel drive works, that it shifts right, that the clutch is good. And so that, at this point in time, is exactly what we're going to do. And we're going to figure out just what kind of a vehicle we have now that we know that the vehicle runs. So, if you stick with me through this project, I can kind of walk you through the basics and we can see just exactly how this pickup's going to turn out. Hopefully, we're going to have a winner, but as with any vehicle that you get like this, you just never know. So, uh, keep watching and uh, hope you enjoyed. Rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, do all of the good stuff that people on YouTube do, I guess. Uh, yeah, so, yep, hope to see you guys in another video.